stages of change. Everybody saying with me together. The first is loss. Second is anger. Third is discouragement. Fourth is acceptance. Fifth is celebration. Now, some of you may say, well, I kind of recognize some stages of loss or grief or change that I've seen before, and I, the first four make sense to me, but celebration? Kathy, why would you say celebration is part of change? Celebration is a part of shedding. Do you know you celebrate the most painful day of your life every single year? Your birthday. Now, why would you do that? Because celebration is a healthy ritual that will accelerate shedding. Celebration is really a way to help you let go of the old and take on the new. And so many times in organizations, the pace of change is faster and faster and faster, and we end up selling, uh, shedding the celebration part. Don't diminish the power of celebration. It will help you, it will help your employees embrace change faster. Celebration, whether it's a high school graduation, is really acknowledging the end, the loss of high school, and the transition to life after high school. Now part of what I see a little bit different as a change expert than a lot of others is I believe you need to celebrate in advance. I believe you need to celebrate your success in advance. So I work with organizations all over the country and we catapult them into the future. And we celebrate whatever they want to succeed in, in the future. And we throw a big party. And we have the big award ceremony. And we have sparkling grape juice and balloons and noise blowers. And we have the award ceremony. And, and we have the toast. And, and, and I've done this over and over again. Celebrating the Baldridge Award. Celebrating with Verizon Wired, number one, J.D. Powers and Associates. Best place to work in the country, best healthcare system in the country, over and over again. And I've done this with organizations, and it is amazing what happens when you program the subconscious for success. I've worked with organizations that two years later, they hit their goal. When a group of people come together and celebrate their success in advance, you can achieve the impossible. You can achieve your goals. So I'd encourage you to celebrate your success with your teams. What are those things you're trying to hit this year? And have a party and celebrate in advance. Now, in a perfect world, whenever we would experience change, we would immediately leap from change to celebration. Your job is being eliminated. Woohoo! Uh, probably not all of us are going to get there that quick. We need to go through some of these stages, and it's healthy to go through some of these stages. Is it okay to experience loss? Absolutely. That's what part of that attachment is. That's what part of that, I enjoy this, I love this, and it's okay. But we need to recognize that when we lose something that we love or enjoy, that we've got to be able to acknowledge that. Is it okay to feel angry? Absolutely. Especially if things didn't work out exactly how you had it planned. But you, you know, you've got to be able to acknowledge your anger and to deal with anger appropriately. Is it okay to feel a little discouraged? Absolutely. And we need to acknowledge that discouragement. All the stages are healthy. The key is don't get stuck. How many of you know somebody that you work with who's stuck in anger? Hey, what does that do to a work environment? 
makes it very difficult, isn't it?